assalamu alaikum dear students in the series of learning c programming we are discussing storage classes in c in the previous video we have discussed all the four storage classes every minute detail regarding the storage classes have thoroughly been discussed in the previous videos very minutely and thoroughly with the help of the examples and in today's video we are going to discuss some problems or you can say some questions based on their storage classes so our today's topic is the questions which are based on storage classes in today's video we will discuss two questions first question is first of all here i will write a small program and we will see what would be the output of that program here only first of all i will include here the header files hash include stdio dot h int x int man print app percentage d x return zero here i have write down a program a small program or we can say small question and we will discuss what would be the output of this program what would the output of this question so we know that execution of every c program starts from the man so first of all here only i have declared a variable x but here i have declared this variable outside this man function all the functions so this variable that the, this declaration is global declaration global declaration whenever we declare a variable outside to all the functions that variable is global in nature so here i have declared a variable x where i am going to store the integer type data and this the, this variable comes under the storage this this sorry this variable comes under the global category so this is a global variable we know that the global variable is comes under the category of storage classes extern 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 or you can say external external is the storage category of the storage classes under all the global variables and global functions comes that means this x this x variable comes under the storage class under the category of external storage class we know that the default value default value of the variables whose storage class is external is zero so i have declared here a variable x so by default it contains its value is zero because default value of the variables whose storage class is external is zero I have not initialized here x. Only I have declared here x globally. So by default, the compiler will put x at this place, at this location. So whenever execution starts from here, print a percentage dx. This line will print the value of the x. At present, I have not initialized this x, and default value of x is zero. So the output of this program would be zero. so after execution of this question this program a small program we will get the output zero because i have not initialized here it is a global variable global variable comes under the category of the external storage class by default the by default the value of the variable whose storage class is external is zero so here i am going to print it go it will print as a zero okay i hope now you have understood what what would be the output of this program the output of this small question is zero for example if instead of here i have in a for example if instead of here i will declare here int x here inside what would be the storage class here the storage class with auto because i have also told you if i do not specify if we do not specify any storage class with the variable by default that variable the storage class of that variable is auto but only for local variable it is it is for only for local local variables for these global variables for global variables 
the the storage class is external because all this global variables as well as the functions comes under this external storage class category okay hope now you understood what is difference between the these um, global declaration and local declaration in local if if i do not satisfy I satisfy any storage class by default that is auto and if i declare that outside the function that globally and that variable comes under the category of the external storage class now i will write under program and we will under question and we will discuss the working of that question as well <coughs> for example Hash include dot h and fun and and fun static static and x equal to ten. Return x minus minus int man for pun 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 print app percentage d of Pun. Return zero. Here I have write down a small program, a small question, and we will discuss. We will see what will be the output of this question after it is declared, after its execution. So we know that the execution starts from this man. The control will go first here. For here, I here is a for loop. Pun initialization. and under function call fun is a termination condition and updation is also a function call so first control will go here fun here is a function call so the control will go back to here here i have initialized a variable x but static the storage class associated with this x is static and i have initialized it with 10 after that after execution of this line the control will go here return x minus minus what will happen return x minus minus first the value because it is a post in increment decrement here x minus minus it is post decrement first the value of the x will get return then the original value will get decreased by 1 decremented by 1 we can say so first the value of the x will be returned what we, what is the Value of the x, value of the x at present is ten. That means it will get returned where, from where it has been called. It has been called from here. So here the value of the x will get returned. At present the value of the x is ten, and now and after that this will get decremented. That means ten will get decremented by one. It will become now nine. Hope after that control will go here. We have already discussed the working of the for loop in the previous in the videos as well. Fun here also a function call. Again, this function is going to be call, called. Control again here. Here static int x. Take care. Here this variable, the storage class associated with this x is static. We know static the, the variables whose storage class is static retains its previous value. it never gets initialized again we have we, we cannot initialize it again because the storage class is static the static variable is atta attains its previous value what's whatsoever the previous value is 10 9 so this or we can say this line will get skipped or it it get ignored by the compiler so the control will go directly here return x now x will get return what is x now x is 9 that will return to where here where it has been called fun 
so 9 will get here and after that value of x will get decremented it is 9 it will become now 8 and here now the control will enter into the body of the loop because here now at this moment the value of this funny 9 that means true because everything anything other than 0 is considered as true anything other than 0 this is the test expression the text the value of the test expression at present is 9 that means it is not a 0 so anything other than 0 is considered true so the condition is true the control will enter into this body hey what is the body here print a percentage d fun here again a function call again the control will go here return x what will get return x what is the value of x 8 8 will get return minus minus and after that it will become 7 but here person printer what what is the working of this printer printer will print the value of fun the value of fun is present is 8 so 8 will get here printed okay and after that control will go here here again is a function call fun again the control will go here return x value of x will get return what is the value of x at present 7 7 will get return here and after that x will become 6 okay x minus minus 7 1 will get decremented from 7 and that will become 6 so x minus minus 6 it will become <coughs> now here the condition will get checked here again a function call fun again here a return x what is x at present x is 6 6 will get return and x and after that minus minus it will become 5 so 6 again the condition is true it will enter into the body of the loop print a fun uh, again here the function call here again control will go here x my uh, return x what is the value of x 5 and x minus minus it will become now 4 okay it will become now 4 but here print f percent is fun value of fun will get printed what is what what is the value of fun at present that is 5 5 will get here printed and again control will go here fun again a function call that means control will go again here x what is x x is 4 4 will get get return and x minus minus it will become 3 it will become 3 now the control will go here after that fun again a function call here return x what is value of x x value of x is 3 value of x is 3 and x minus minus it will become now 2 again it is value of x is 3 it is other than 0 condition is true control will enter here print f percentage d fun here again a function call control will go again here return x value of x will get return that is 2 2 will get returned okay x minus minus and it will become now 1 percentage d fun this value of fun will get printed that is 2 after that 2 will get printed again control will go here again a function call return x what is the value of x that is 1 1 is get printed 1 is get returned and then minus minus 1 minus 1 it will become now 0 now here it will become now fun x minus here again a function call fun return x what is the value of x at present the value of x is 0 x minus minus it will become minus 1 but after that the value of fun at present is 0 that means condition is false because other than 0 anything other than 0 is what is, is true here at at a moment at a present the value of this fun is 0 so this condition now evaluate is false so whenever this test expression value is false the loop will get terminated so the control will go here return 0 so the control will exit from the program so the output our output would be 852 i hope now you have understood what would be the output what is the working of this static key what is the working of this program and what is the output of this program the output of this program is 8 5 and 2 if you have observed that here only only once this x get initialized later on this line gets skipped because of static because static variable retained its previous 
give you. If, for example, if instead of this static, I will write here plus int x, or I can say auto int x. At that time, this x will get initialized again and again, again and again, again and again, because it will not return retain its previous value. Only the static variable retains its previous value. I hope now you have understood the effect of the static keyword on this program. And inshallah, in the next video, we are going to discuss two more questions based on the storage classes. Till the next video, take care and bye-bye.